Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into... Hey, everybody. I'm back. Sorry for the, uh... Not streaming very much. Uh, the AC is still broken here. Uh... It was some part in it that broke, and um, they ordered it. I guess it was uh, Tuesday, and it still hasn't arrived yet. So that really sucks. But the weather has cooled off considerably uh, and should continue to cool off the next couple of days. So uh, that's a plus. It did rain uh, tonight, which brought in cool weather, but it also amps up the humidity, which always sucks. Alright, the last time I played, I was trying to meet, uh, what's his name, Sam Fisher, and uh, I made improvements uh, by getting in to, and seeing him, but I kept dying, and it was very frustrating combined with the heat, so I'm going to try again tonight. I think what I'm going to do tonight is uh, I'll sneak in, which I've done several times, so that I seem to have a pattern going down. Uh, once I get in there, um, I am going to rally my, the other guys on me so they don't die out, you know, getting in. Uh, there's a sniper that uh, gives me shit, and uh, I think I'm going to try to take him out. And I think that is my strategy for the night. For some reason, I've had no problem with the game. It's been easy, you know, probably a little too easy for some who like challenges. <clears throat> but uh, this one mission has been a pain in the butt. And I don't remember it being as hard. Maybe I just got lucky the first time I played it and I, I, you know, handled it pretty good without, you know, dying too much or dying at all. I don't know. So, uh, the house has cooled off a little bit. Uh, it's been sort of funny. Like, the air conditioning breaks and that we live in a real townhouse. Um, a really nice townhouse. Well, at least it should be really nice. Uh, nice neighborhood, great view and stuff. The maintenance people seem to be really... Uh, well, not the maintenance people themselves, the manager, uh, the property management company is really tight wads like many renters to go. And, you know, the views have gone down in the back. They let trees, they let weeds grow into trees and it totally blocks the view, which is the namesake of our street. But uh, with the AC, it's, the AC was, n they never installed an AC that was powerful enough for this property for this townhouse it's three stories so it's always sort of struggled to get air to the third floor um and uh so it's always been overburdened and uh so a part broke and so you know with that we had to open the windows for once and uh the blinds to the windows uh, had dry rotted over time, so when we pull on the 
cord, uh, they broke, so the blinds broke, and so they had to replace that, which is good. You know, when you when you live in your own place, you got to replace all that in your own. It's a pain in the butt. So, but they've been dragging their feet. This started happening last year, as far as the blinds are going, <laughs> and they never really got back to finish them. But now they're now they're hustling because their AC's broken. We're miserable. Um, I do know our neighbor's AC completely broken. They had to replace it, and they did give them window units to. Uh, um, cool them off until they got a new AC put in. That was a couple of years ago. So, uh, it beats me. <laughs> but, you know, it's been sort of miserable. Uh, I'm slowly adjusting to the heat. The problem with that, I don't get outside much, and so the warm weather has just started in the last month. I haven't had time to acclimate yet, so it's been miserable, and I'm starting to acclimate a little bit more with, you know, the AC being broke. Um, but it's been too hot in the room. Um, uh, you know, with the, with the highs outside 90s and 90s inside, inside to uh, crank up the PC, PS4 to really, <laughs> which heats your room. It just popped open a can of Guinness here. I haven't had Guinness in forever. Uh, it's the special kind with the, 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 the nitrous or whatever in it. <laughs> Well, is it nitrous? What do they use? It's nitrogen, but not, I don't know if it's, I doubt it's nitrous. I don't know. What does it say? I don't know. I can't read the dark in my room, but I haven't had Guinness in forever. And I was, and I, I was, I'm getting ready to do a recipe this weekend that calls for some heavy beer. So I was like, I'll just get Guinness and drink a few. <sighs> Guinness is certainly not a beer to get drunk on. <laughs> you, it, it's definitely like, it fills you up pretty quick. Ugh. I used to be a bartender when I was in college, and I've served many of Guinnesses. Guinness I. <laughs> and people are picky, man. Like, if there's, like, one bubble in the foam, the foam's really fine. It's supposed to be, like, silky smooth. I've had people have, like, just a little small bubble, and like, here, you know, this is not a good pour. You know, we want our money back. <laughs> it's like, what? We had, like, a system. We had, like, our system wasn't particularly uh, um, made for pouring Guinness properly. It had like 20-some you know, feet of lines from the keg to the where you pour it, and the lines would get warm, and that would cause all sorts of funny issues with the beer, make it a little bit more foamy. Okay, now where is... Well, I can't do the Sam Fisher mission right at the moment, which is down here. I'm going to respawn here. I have to wait tonight for that, which is sort of crappy, but... But yeah, people are, like, really picky about the beer. I never could pour the clover release. I was just a sort of straight-up, you know, bartender. I never did anything fancy. I could flip some bottles, but, you know, nothing like crazy talent. And certainly not a lot of dexterity skills to pour, like, a clover or whatever people pour into, like, a pint of Guinness. Which is sort of funny because the whole reason we had Guinness problems was because the line was getting warm. And Guinness is, you know, you go to Europe, Guinness is served warm. It's not chilled. If it is chilled, I mean, it's ever so slightly. It's like red wine. You don't chill it. You know, if it does have a chill, you're like, the chill is like 60 degrees. <laughs> and when you buy Guinness in a bottle or something, when you're outside of a bar... Which is not the best, you know. Guinness sort of sucks outside the bar, but uh, you always get you always get the can or the. I think they have bottles where it has the little nitrogen things in it. That way, it has a creamier pour. All right, so we're here. I'm just gonna venture here and get this point here until. Night falls, and I can do the Sam Fisher meeting. And this is like the only uh, Tom Clancy game I've ever played, to be honest with you. I, I was surprised with it. Uh, you know, I grew up when uh, games uh, that were made after movies sucked really bad. They were just more of a promotional thing, like little effort went into them. Uh, a lot of games are still like that as far as a movie game, but the, you know, you had some hits like uh, the 007 games for, what was it, the Nintendo 64 or whatever it was, that was like, 
everyone got addicted to that. Um, and it was sort of groundbreaking with the uh, I got one narco. first person shooter style, I guess. Can I get up there? I see a second target. All oh, right. So this something. Where is it? Up here? Oh, there was something on the roof. I missed when I was here last. Poop. Okay, so how do I get up there? I got eyes on the sniper. Roger. Let me get in position. Roger. I need to get position. Target acquired. Stick it by. Enemy spotted. I got it. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Got it. I got another. That's five. They found their mate. There. <sighs> the weather's dropped back down. I think the high today was about 80. So a cool, uh, cold, cold front has moved through. Getting a position. Moving to a good sideline. Hold up. Let me get a good sideline. They're coming right at us. What's the word, boss? Got Ready to fun. engage. Engaging. Enemy killed. Tango down. Roger that. Move it. Let me get a good sight line. Target acquired. Target marked. Oops. <laughs> Sounds so sexual. Ah, ah, baby. Oh, that's so good. You're the best. All right, so now I gotta get on the roof. I'm not sure how. I thought that there were stairs that went up there. Here we go. Put the hornet's nest. Enemy reinforcements incoming. I got one of those cartel medals here. Some Sicario is gonna miss this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing there. Rally up, people. Roger that. I just learned yesterday, uh, <coughs> it's just a rumor, it's just a rumor so far, uh, that Last of Us 2 won't be out until early next year, so if people are hoping it was going to come out this fall, but, um... Even though it's a rumor, uh, there is some sort of weight behind it, but it's still classified as a rumor um, that uh, Naughty Dog is getting ready to release a game this fall, and it's pushing back um, the release date. There we go. Why well, that take so long? So now, what else do I got here? I can't do that, I can't do that. Antenna. Shut it down fast and we'll start crediting the cartel's comms. The last few days, it's been too hot for the PS4, but my computer doesn't run very hot, so I've been playing Minecraft on it, and <laughs> I would stream a lot more Minecraft if I could, but my PC can't handle streaming, unfortunately. Um, but I have a survival mode uh, world set up where I'm, I'm slowly stocking up on everything, so that's been my focus the last few days of sort of just stocking up and doing some automation stuff what I can. I can't get into the nether because I built a mob grinder and I put portals in it so I could get pigments to spawn and uh, give me gold when they fall down. Alright, is there anything worthwhile here? Absolutely not. But there is a helicopter over here and there is intel. Possibly. But it's been a Minecraft last few days. I would certainly love to stream more, but uh, I decided if I was going to really do something that I just couldn't really do it on the PS4.
Because eventually I would like to upload. Uh, I, you can, I think there are ways, but I th uh, eventually I'd like to upload it and it'd be a sub server. Fall back! Fall back! Bien. you like a free get out of death card? I ain't no snitch, but I'll tell you this one thing. <laughs> it's helicopter on the roof, I guess it is. So I'll go up there. Somebody's cage. Uh, let's see here. Upstairs. Where do we go upstairs? We're good. We all in one piece? Sniper rifle over here. All right, I'll see if we can upgrade our sniper rifle. <coughs> Excuse me. What kind of sniper rifle was it? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Is that a sniper rifle? Yeah, that is. Excuse me. I'll go with the tar scope. more powerful than what I had before. Let me go back. Uh, let's go back. Uh, accuracy damage is sort of back with the old one.
I'm not equipped. Oh, what, what am I doing? I'm in for. It's not as good as the other one. At least out of the box, I guess to say. But once it's upgraded, it'll be better. Yeah, it sort of sucks because, like, I have to, like, keep my window wide open <clears throat> and the curtains, uh, open so the air will flow into my room and cool things off and, like, everyone on the road can, like, see me, which is sort of, like, I don't like. Like, they can see what I'm playing right now on the screen. I, I really don't like in my electronics and stuff to be visible from the road just for the sake of uh, you know you don't want someone to see that and you know then want to steal it not that stealing's a Ready? Fire, fire, fire. a big thing in this neighborhood it's a safe neighborhood but still can never be too cautious Oh man, and I crashed on the other helicopter I was going to use to get out. Fucker. Oh, it's so good. Sexual. Sexual yeah. chocolate. I got eyes in a weapons case. You do. Do I get my helicopter back now? I doubt it. This game certainly does have the <coughs> slowest load times of any game I, I've ever owned on the PlayStation 4. It's almost like the whole game is starting over again from scratch. Nomad, this is Matchwork. This is Nomad. Go ahead. I'm in position. Here are my coordinates. Uh... I'll come back for this later.
fucking hell. Eh, fuck it. I'm just gonna run. I literally want to be right there. <clears throat> Bad guys in the area. We got a grunt all by his lonesome near the sand launcher. From a guy that comes out of the door. Guess not tonight. Matchwood, we're approaching the RV. Roger that. Come find me. I didn't see him. <laughs> uh, almost made it. I was almost there again. But once you meet Sam Fisher, you gotta like hold down everything and kill everybody. It's a pain in the butt. My cat is having her favorite food tonight. I feed her uh, really good food. I feed her blue buffalo, which is really expensive and stuff, but uh, it's still worth it if you think about it. This is Nomad. Go ahead. I'm in position. But she eats that like all the time, and maybe once every other month or something, I'll get her a can of can of cheap cat food she really likes the chicken stuff and I mean she's like crazy about it like she hears that can open and she doesn't she normally doesn't meow or whatever and beg for food she'll just sort of when she's hungry she'll sort of sit by her bowl until you notice which is sort of cute but uh, she really loves this stuff so she's getting her getting her jackpot food but like I say I don't feed it to her very often at all because uh, it is probably unhealthy for her I don't give her treats <clears throat> 
And she's 19 years old now, and, and uh, you know, as good health as uh, she could be. She's an indoor hat cat, and... She does have a heart murmur, and her thyroid level is off for some reason. I'm not sure how long those have been issues. Uh, she's never really had a reason to really go to the vet. We never really got her a shot. I mean, we did when she when we first got her. You sort of have to, because she is a rescue. But because she's an indoor cat and there's no other animals, uh, we don't really update our shots. Where'd he come from? Cover, get to cover. No, I'm not. Take my health. So yeah, she's she's in really she's in overall good shape. I don't think the thyroid does anything to her outwardly. Uh, they wanted wanted her to be treated like daily or something for it which is sort of every time we go to the vet they're like you know she needs this every day for the rest of her life and it's they're what they're doing is not i don't think i'm about i'm pretty sure i'm not going to go back to that vet um go ahead. Go ahead. they're just trying to upsell everything right, the last three times i've been there they wanted to give her stuff don't be don't be heard. like she always had to take like <clears throat> she went she her hair off her back leg started falling off like she was really licking it. And I was afraid she had like a fungal infection or something, like ringworm or something. So I went and had to check for that. They're like, no, it's some weird That's thing, and we want to give her medicine. Yeah, but you're gonna have to give it to her for the rest of her life, you know. And it's like forty dollars a month or something. Uh, and I gave it to her for like two weeks, and the stuff went away. And then I stopped treating her, and it never came back. So. But every time I go to that vet, they always want to upsell something, you know, that they can only provide, you know, themselves. Um, so I'm not too confident in that vet. Definitely, you know, you lose faith in it. I can understand she was having poor health, you know, outward signs. Okay, who's doing this? They're gonna make you back up. Who's doing that? Thing. Once you're detected, the, the, the mission's over with. And see, last time I played with that guy, I was rarely there. He showed up like twice or something. Yeah, I don't know what the hell the issue is now. I don't know why this mission's so much more difficult than the rest of the game. Apparently, I got through it pretty easy. I just don't remember, you know, struggling with it like I am now. I know it's boring for you guys to watch because I'm doing the same shit over and over again. It always sucks when you just like hit a point and like you're streaming and you just die over and over and over again. Nomad, this is Matt. This is Nomad. Go ahead. Okay, good thing. Here are my coordinates. I got one who need that soldier. Remember, don't be seen, don't be heard, and don't drop any bodies. Oh, this gun doesn't have a silencer, so I have to be careful using it. Damn it. Actually, I can fix that now, can't I? Okay, I'm going to go with that one since I have the noise suppressor on it. I don't 
see him. Close to the container. Didn't really work that route. <laughs> I'm about ready to give up on this uh, mission. This is too difficult. I don't know why. I just had to play it off stream. Tonight I can't even get to see get in to see Sam Fisher. They, they sort of seem to have switched everything up. The patterns. Wait forever for it to load again. Nomad, this is Matchwood. This is Nomad. Go ahead. I'm in position. Here are my coordinates. Remember, don't be seen, don't be heard, and don't drop any bodies. Eyes up, we got hostiles in the area. I'm looking at two Unidad riflemen. Over there, next to the container. Someone's walking close to me, I think. You gotta grunt with a fucking minigun. Next to the container, see?
on an Unidad grunt. Where you got him? By the stack of tires. Got eyes on Matchwood. Hey, a new to dad heavy machine gunner. Point him out. By the camp entrance. I've got the location of a cartel metal they're planning on giving you some Billy Badass. Rally on me. I copy. Moving. Sniper, top of the tower. So, you're what a ghost looks like, huh? He's our friend. This is the CIA gone rogue. Stole a whole lot of serious intel out of Langley. Scuttlebutt is trying to sell it to Santa Blanca. Santa Blanca? Uh huh. If he's selling to them, what's he doing in the Unidad camp? I'm thinking he's trying to buy protection. Huh. Didn't work out too well for him, did it? You got exactly what you deserve. Let's have a look what we got here. Son of a bitch. <sighs> what? You put the Langley intel on the Unidad server. Now, I can hack this. The problem is the same. How that failed it? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god! You know what, guys? That's just... I'm not playing that mission. This is too stupid. Too fucking stupid. <sighs> Jesus. I didn't even fucking do anything, and I get caught. Yeah, that's just not happening. That's not happening. That is just not happening. Alright, so... Uh, you know what, uh, my mic was going to be on, but uh, I am going over to my library. And let me see if I can find it. I'm in the mood to play Doom again. Um, I never could beat that. Uh, speaking of hard games or whatever, but uh, it should pop up in my library. Just not seeing it. So let me go search. And I'm going to begin the download process on that one. Do they 
have it. Do they have the regular one? I hope they do. I don't want the bundle. some reason the game is not popping up in my library. I'm not sure if that has something to do with uh, the fact that I changed my handle. Here we go. There it goes. Purchased. Your doom. I had to delete it uh, to make room for everything, so... It's so annoying not having enough space. So we're gonna. No, I don't want to do the multiplayer back. Come on, come back. You are taken forever. No. Yeah, I think it began to download, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's downloading. Alright, so we got that going. I really hate the fact that this Ghost Recon shit has gotten so hard. Nomad, this is Matt. This is... Uh, I am just going to skip it because it's being a fucker. Nomad, I have something for you. Nomad, go ahead. I'm in position. Here are my coordinates. Remember, do Okay, so that's my base, so I can't go there. Is there a helicopter around? Let me go. Ooh. I am going to assume fast travel here. That's going to try a different level. <clears throat> yeah, I have. N I do not remember that Sam Fisher mission being so difficult. Where I mean, yeah, it's just impossible. Just impossible. And I'm not the best player in the world. I acknowledge that. But Jesus, at least I paid for the damn game. I, I want to get through it, which I've already have technically. But I don't know. It's like it's the rule of streaming. Like you could play a game a million times and like ace it and never die. And as soon as you start streaming, you have all the issues. <sighs> but you guys just saw that like. There was nothing I did. Well, technically, I rallied my guys when they got caught, which they never get caught in any other mission. But in that one, they get they get caught. So, and if you don't rally them around you, they get killed, and you gotta rescue them. But you can't rescue them because you get killed. So, it is foobar. <laughs> I'm gonna get a motorcycle. Let's roll. Going on me. Heads up, hostile presence. Heads up, soldiers. Near the fuel drum. The worst game I played uh, was Fallout, I guess. That game, there's a lot to figure out in it. And, you know, and I appreciate people's interest in it, you know, and it has its own little community, but it was just too glitchy of a game. Very glitchy. It would like auto save in situations that were impossible to get out of. Like as soon as it starts, you die. And 
I threw the damn game away. I was like, screw this shit. Montaillac is not the Blanca's primary training ground. They've got a number of military style training camps in the province and bring in recruits from all over South America. And Muro is spending big money to bring people in the special forces background to train cartel recruits. The senior instructor is rumored to be former U.S. military, but we don't know much more than that. I need you to gather intel on the cartel's training ops. Get me an ID on the senior instructor. Solid copy, Bowman. We'll get on it. And nope, he yeah, yeah he died. No. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, yeah, I have to go back for my motorcycle. Where is my motorcycle? Right there. Now these areas of Bolivia do exist, like there's the big lake full of flamingos and the salt flats. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the salt flats are the largest in the world, I could be wrong. Even down to like by the salt flats, there's a little like old railroad community like where the trains are, you know decommissioned and wrecked on the side of the railroad track. That's all real. So they did do their research in this game as far as recreating Bolivia. Salt Flats are uh, an interesting phenomenon. You guys who might be out west uh, in the U.S. Uh, you know, you might have been to the Bonneville, Bonneville Salt Flats outside of uh, Salt Lake City. They're pretty interesting. You can drive on them. I haven't driven on them, but I've you know, actually, if you go to my Instagram account, there's a uh, photo I did at sunrise. Oh, I didn't want to do that. You know, in the bottom of it. I wanted to get some more pictures of it, but I couldn't. Uh, uh, I've got eyes on the captain spotting the tango. Got a tango. I wanted to do. Uh, Star trails over the Bonneville salt flats in the mountains in the area, but uh, the weather wasn't cooperative when I went, uh, when I was doing it. Good eyes on the cartel supply chopper. Let's hijack it and divert its payload to the rebels instead. I've been there a few times. Okay, so. Oops. I didn't think they'd escape like that. Poop! Poop! Well, I didn't even need that one, so... I thought it was my target, but it's a really... F another 500 meters over here. Clear. How you guys holding up? 
I'm gonna be right back guys I gotta get a refill on my drink Sorry about that, I'm back. Uh, boy, my redneck neighbor is out of side smoking. And my room smells like smoke. Bastards. That's alright. Bowman, we found your package. I have the access card. Uni Dad has custody of a high level cell tech. Kids don't smoke. It's such a bad habit. I wish I had a chopper. There's a... Uh, a Kingslayer file. I'll... Looks like a Skelltech engineer wandered a little too far from home and now Unidad has him. We're gonna get him. We're, We're gonna, gonna get him. Skelltech? As in the tech company started by Jay Skelt? Who's that? Only one of the smartest and richest people on the planet. Skelt tech probably designed half the gadgets we use. Oh, if he's so smart and rich, why does he need us to clean up his mess? Shit, just be glad he hasn't replaced us with robots yet.
We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Got a location on a cartel resupply point here in Montreal. Looks like it provides most of the weapons and ammunition for the province. If we went in and destroyed those supplies, we'd cripple cartel ops across the whole province. That's sort of weird, I guess. I do see this as difficulty of well, full difficulty. Uh, I'll fly. Er, excuse me. I have something that for you. My spot. I sent a package. I'm patching you coordinates now. When you get there, call me. I'll explain everything then. Normally the higher difficulty levels are full of uh, anti-missile radar and all that, and they shoot you down out of the sky, so you have to be sort of careful. Though I'm sure b this level's a shit ton easier than the Sam Fisher mission. I do not know what's wrong with that, and that's real. What level is that? Here, Sam Fisher, where the hell are you? not popping up on yeah it was on do 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 here's Ann Fisher now there was a cartel leader in that one I pushed the wrong button. Apparently, if you uh, push square while flying, it switches seats. And then he doesn't get back over fast enough when you're flying low like that. Though I do find if a missile's coming your way and it's locked on, switch seats and the helicopter loses power and starts tail spinning or whatever, about half the time at least, uh, the missile will miss you doing that. So if you're high enough, you can do that and you have a decent chance of avoiding the missile. Other than that, it's very hard to uh, avoid the missile. So damn it, now I'm without a helicopter. Because I was stupid enough to pause the game and hit the wrong button. At least I'm here now. And yet another headquarters without a helicopter. Or is this the one I just got? It put me all the way back over there? No, better not have. I would have shit a brick. It did put me back at the fucking headquarters. Bastards. We found your package. I have the access card. Unidad has custody of a high level Skeltech engineer. As you can well, did it give me my Kingslayer file? Yeah, it did. Better Man, off. He knows sensitive US industrial secrets that we'd like to stay secret. No, that's not where I told it to go. Oh, I have something for you. Looney Dad currently is holding him at an underground research facility, and that card should open the security door. Check your map for the facility's location. I need you and your team to find him and extract him. Think you can handle that? I would definitely uh, love to travel to Bolivia. Don't be so sure this one's going to be simple. Call me when you Seems like a pretty government. The government's sort of a pretty country, but the government seems a little... I think it's a purely communist country, maybe, perhaps? I can't remember the guy's name, Morez, or something. <laughs> he's one of the... He's on the list of South American dictators. Uh... I think he models himself after Hugo Chavez or Maduro of Venezuela. 
smartest and richest people on the planet. Skelts have probably designed half the gadgets we use. Well, if he's so smart and rich, why does he need us to clean up his mess? Shit, just be glad he hasn't replaced us with robots yet. I did start playing some of the uh, download maps on this that came out. Uh, I never finished the first one. I can't remember what the name of it, but... It's sort of weird because, you know... Well... There's characters in this game that uh, die. And they bring them back, you know, for the add-ons or whatever. Here... I'm gonna have to go in a cave, it looks like. Or a mine. Or a railroad track, it looks like. Get that. This will go nice with my boots. I've got the bike. You do. I think tomorrow, either tomorrow or Monday, uh, I, um, I ordered my uh, PC builds uh, tower for, I went with a Be Quiet 801 base, it should be nice, it has a nice uh, glass display on the side, um, display the RGB lights and the internals, and uh, um, and Be Quiet sort of known, they, they put a lot of thought in... Uh, making the case sort of quiet as far as things rattling and whatnot and um had it recommended to me and uh should be a good uh, uh case i hope it does well certainly uh with my headphone and mic build or uh, mic uh buys i've been very disappointed i'm i'm using the arctis pro wireless and uh, I still have issues with it. I need to get resolved. Uh, n now sort of my fault as far as uh, tech support is working with me but I haven't really contacted them the last few days uh, just out of pure laziness. Alright so I'm going to have to go somewhere and I don't know where to go. I do not remember this very well. I remember, I, I sort of remember something about the tunnel, but I don't remember this particular part of it. You can't fit through there, you fat ass? Whoa.
can't tell if I remember this part yet. There might be civilians inside, so watch your fire. The drone is up. Everyone's sort of dead in here. Huh. I do not remember this part. Probably because no one fought me, maybe? Someone's already hit this place. Keep your head on a swivel. You already said that before. Looks like we caught a break. The scientists are still alive. They've just been knocked out. Only the Unidad soldiers have been killed. So our guy should still be alive. Jeez, how are we supposed to find him in all this mess? Search, dumbass. How do I get back to that Kingslayer file? Okay, I'm not making progress here.
Caliber rounds. But these guys want to hurt somebody's feelings. Sounds like company. Stay quiet. What are you doing here? Bowman didn't say to expect you. Is that tough little handler of ours got no idea I'm here? Are you sightseeing? <laughs> Hunting trip. Huh, what's the game? High level. I do not remember any of this. Daniel Rodriguez Ariano. Danny <sighs> has got access to company technology that the government does not want shared. He's been spending a lot of time in Bolivia. Probably not out here soaking up the culture, huh? He's been selling secrets to you, Dad. So he and I, we're about to have a little chat. Our mission from Bowman was to rescue him from you, Dad. I could blow sunshine up your ass all day, but I'll spare you. Bowman, she's my real target. They know exactly what he's been doing, but she's been protecting the little shit. What's he do for them? Informed inside you to death. 
These must be some pretty serious secrets for you to go off script. Must be. Oh, fuck. They're here. Get them up. Okay. Kayate, hey, you want to live through this? You follow me and do as I say. You two done making out? This is not Looks like walking just not coming to me that uh Put our mother on these guys playing this before keep your head down We got tigers I can't take this. Did I already grab that? Damn, I couldn't hit that guy with shit. Another Kingslayer file out of two of them. Where'd they come from? Oh, I thought that was my own guy. <laughs> Now to go up for another flight.
back out. You fellas do good work. We should get together like this more often. Right. Next time I'll bring a high caliber rifle. And I'll bring more grenades. That's where it came from. Maybe it was on the way where I came in. Actually, on the chilly side of nights, down in the 50s for once. Looks like Walker left some fun for us. Time to earn our pay. Puta madre! Who are these guys? If you want to live long enough to find out, keep your head down. Open fire. Get some. I think that's all of them. We got tangos. Danger close. Engaging! Only dead forces are attacking from Shit, he knows he's taking fire. Fuck, engage him. What the hell are you doing? Take cover! him entirely.
got tangos! Must have swapped rifle again. Yeah. We got a man down. Tango! Engaging! Get the fuck down! The drone is up. Man down, yo, man down. Ooh, all three of them are down. Shit. Engaging. I don't think I'll make it. Fuck a dick. Looks like Walker left some fun for us. Time to earn our pay. Puta madre! Who are these guys? If you want to live long enough to find out, keep your head down. One more time here. Third time's a charm. All three of them are fucking down. Damn. Okay, three times not a charm. Dude, I don't know what's up with that. All three of them are fucking down. Didn't realize my guys were so fucking retarded. Jeez. Looks like Walker left some fun for us. Time to earn our pay. What the matter? Who are these guys? If you want to live long enough to find out, keep your head down. Dios mío, I can't take this. All three of them are going to die now, right?
Enemy mark. Roger that. I Move got it. eyes on an HVT. Moving to a good sideline. Moving to a better nearby. position. I've got the target. Say the word, boss. Just like a right on him. Just go ahead and kill him. Fire. Marking an enemy. Copy. He's gone. No hostiles evident. Everybody hold up, we got a hostile. I think they found their pal. I'm moving to position. Target acquired. Stay. I'm opening fire. Saki Saki. Have zero rebel support. That's weird. Wow, I don't want any of this. That guy's history. Tango Mark is a little down. close Move to it. civilians. Target acquired. No more Tangos here. We're clear on this side. I got a third Copy card. that. Moving. Some nice lightning outside tonight. Roger that. Target 
Scott! We got Unidad plus visual on the target. Open fire. Huh. Roger that. Move it. I need a better position. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Roger. Target acquired. Lost my target. Ready? Open, Open fire, fire on these fuckers. That tank is dead. Engaging! Next lap is seconds. Heads up, hostile presence. on the target. Roger that. Target Lost the point. target. Lost visual on the target. These guys are useless. Those guys are sitting right out in the fucking open. Open fire! Clear on this side. Okay, I assume going up there will get me to the Kingslayer file. We got company, stay sharp. Drone is airborne. Fuerzas 
unidades. Comiencen el ataque. Moving to a good sight line. to a better position. Got us blocked off. Take that engineer and get him out of here. Just remember what we talked about. Be careful who you trust. Where are you going? I'll hold him off. Consider it one you owe me. You sure? There's more than a few of them, and I don't like being in debt. Shit, we got a sniper! Good. You all in one piece? That skill's not on my resume. Finish the damn mission. Continue to the exfil. I'll be in touch. Science is still fucking down there? Jesus, man.
got company. I see a second target, and baby makes three. Roger, let me get, let me get a good sight line. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Uh. Target acquired. I saw the target. No target. Repeat. I don't have a shot. No target. Are you all fucking retarded? Got the target. That's one down. I got like the retard most retarded uh, guys working with me now. Was there like a retard update on this? We done? Shit, kinda got all excited there. I had a guess. My motorcycle's gone. <laughs> Hang on, I'll drive. Set, let's go. Location for intel. Buenas. Hola, amigo. You hear anything about the cartel around here, where they are, or things like that? Gracias. This is where it ends, amigo. Take care and stay out of trouble. These supplies will buy. Bowman, this is Nomad. The package is. been delivered. Excellent. Leave him at the safe house. I'll take care of it from here. We've got enemy activity nearby.
be right back. I got to tinkle. Alright, I feel much better now. Yeah, I talked to uh, Steel Series, and they sent me a new optical cable uh, that arrived in the mail to actually, was it yesterday? Uh, I need to plug it in to see if the original optical cable was bad, or they just sell, sh or they're just putting shitty optical cables with their uh, product, or both. But I haven't really talked to them. They want me to photograph how I have it set up, which is sort of silly because I've already told them exactly how I have it set up. That'd do good. Maybe I should have uh, looked out for rocks and stuff in my way. All right, so we're gonna do. Oh, they got a. The lieutenant's on the run. Uh, having to wreck my helicopter on the one mission that. Fuck damn. They that. They knew exactly where I am with his uh, mortars. At least the team's back together. Fuck took you so long. Run! Run! Fucking delayed ass reactions. Guns. 
sniper. Holy fuck shit. Man down. Man down. Just hold on to your shit. Man down. Well, if my whole team's down, who's on the mic? I'm just getting the hell out of Dodge on that one. There's a motorcycle out in the middle of nowhere? Where'd that come from? something for you. I sent a package. I'm patching you coordinates now. When you get there, call me. I'll explain everything then. Where's the motorcycle? The motorcycle fucking disappeared. There it is. What kind of voice is that for a lady or girl, whatever you want to call it? Just scale and scale take on top of everything. It's going to be perfect, but you'll see. I have to go. I'll call you as soon as I can. Damn, damn, damn. Since when does Jay Skell own a row? Don't you ever read the news? Hold up. He's making another call. Balcony. 
to me. I'm at the safe house. We need to meet now. I know a place, a farm. I'll send you the coordinates. Get there fast, and make sure no one follows you. He's talking to Bowman. What does the CIA want with Skeleton in Bolivia? I'm not sure. It's worth checking out. This shit sounds above our pay grade, Nomad. I know. The walker's got me thinking we can't let it go. The walker, this is Nomad. We overheard a conversation between Bowman and the engineer. They're meeting up in person at a farmhouse. Maybe they're lovers. Security. I want you not to trust her. I'm not burning bridges yet. I want to see what this meeting is all about. Before you go, I want to show you something. Here's send you the dick coordinates dick. to an airfield where we can link up. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? Coordinates to an airfield. Where we can link up. Eyes and a sniper. I'm spotting him in a tank. Mounted weapon. Roger that. Move it. Let me get into position. Roger. Target acquired. Copy. Target marked. Tango down. is escaping. We're clear. Hold up. We got hostile activity. Yo, cartel heavy machine gunner. There, by the container. Deploying drone. Roger. Let me get in position. Got Moving to tango. a good sight line. Target acquired. Eyes on the target. We have light panels over here. I got a third target. Copy that. Moving. Target spotted. Ready to fire. Tango down. We're out of the cage. They 
then we're here. They're coming right at us. Any ideas, boss? I pushed the wrong button on that, guys. Down, get down, chopper. Man down, yo, man down. to position. Copy. Target Stay locked. down, I'll be right there. Target down. Thank you. Get down, chopper.
got it. I'll fly. Getting really confused here with uh, where was that place we went underground at? Twelve, four, four. Twelve. Where did I go underground? So I got like three Kingslayer fires or something in that one building. Now it's not showing I have any. here Gosh, there's no one in this town? I figured it'd be uh, better protected than this, full of soldiers and stuff. That bird is annoying. A lot of birds here for being a tundra or whatever, not tundra, but just a frozen place.
fire. I think a shot. Engage. Damn, that's Lush your guy's one. attention. Fire, fire, fire. Weapons case here. Nice. Found a pretty nice rifle.
Be right back. I gotta take a quick break. All right, back. Yeah, definitely looking forward to build my new PC. Uh, those have been following my tweets. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I was mentioning, uh, you know, there's a couple of pretty significant developments for those building PCs right now. Um, the biggest one by far is AMD. Um, was it the Ryzen 3 or whatever is getting ready to come out and well I don't think it will outperform Intel and it remains to be seen it, they, um, enemy reinforcements coming in I have to pay attention to this I guess maybe perhaps Um, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? That was a weird angle. Uh, they're, gonna see you. Hold up. they're getting a lot of support from various, uh, you know, uh, motherboard and all that companies and stuff. And while I do not believe they will, uh, outperform Intel, they're going to give them a run. And AMD, you know, is crazy for... 
Let's snag that bird and get it turned in the right direction. Uh, AMD does have a price advantage by far, so they're they're definitely within range of it. Target eliminated. Um. But uh, they're coming out with the first PCI f uh, E uh, 4.0 uh, slots for the motherboards that go with the AMD uh, uh, systems and. That's got pre people pretty excited, and it's twice as fast as PCI uh, E3.0 slots. And while graphics cards haven't really caught up with that kind of speed yet, it will make an improvement in dry speed, especially for M.2, uh, you know, internal drives that attach to the motherboard directly. Um, but still, like when it comes to gaming. Intel has the advantage because a lot of games use Let me get in position. Uh, Moving to a good side line. the architecture Roger that. Target marked. for Intel. Um, Eyes on the target. Move it to a better position. And good to go. Uh, but it's going to be close. I mean, there's going to be a I lot of. Intel has been slacking, and uh, AMD. You know, if you look at all the stuff, it's all the words about it, AMD's going to give them run for money. Um, because of the PCI 4.0 uh, coming out, it does make me want to consider what kind of system I have, but I, I think I'm siding for I'm going to still stick with uh, Intel-based uh, motherboards. Um, I don't think PCI 3 uh, 4.0 is going to be uh, as big as the... Uh, Uh, a difference to make me change. And I'm not picking sides between one processor or the other. Both are good, you know. Definitely have their advantages. Um, AMD so far has not allowed uh, people to test their uh, Ryzen system to see how well it's uh, you can overclock it. And you know, like with the uh, Intel uh, i9 nine. 9900K uh, was 8 core. You can run all 8 cores. Like every single chip that comes out, you can easily run it at fi uh, 5 gigahertz, which is amazing. And AMD just sort of can't compete with that right now. And I don't think that Ryzen 2 would be that great. Alright, so. I need to go down here. Why am I attacking them? Uh, well, let's go down there. And there's other developments around the corner, but they're still like a couple years out that uh, is definitely not a consideration for people building their uh, systems now. Such as USB 4.0, which is based on the was a Thunderbolt technology by Apple and Intel. Um, even the Thunderbolt sort of uh, makes fun. Make you. I ain't gonna actually get him out. He hurt your feelings. No reason to waste rounds on him. That makes five. Anything here worthwhile? I don't see anything. Grenade! Opening fire. But the, yeah, the new Ryzen system's getting ready to come out. Uh, I believe coming July. I believe it is. I could be wrong about that. Seen, you know, definitely worth your consideration for building a system, um, especially with that PCI 4.0. I think it's the biggest, you know, Looks consideration. Like But I still, th I'm still, you know, looking for a, a, my i9 9900K uh, 
processor with a NVIDIA um, 2080 Ti. Here comes some more of them. I think I'm still on track for that, for sure. And what's the other one coming out? You got USB 4.0 and trying to think here. Still a ways off, right, but uh, why did that disappear off my? That's so weird. I'm brain dead now. There was like two things: the USB 4.0 and oh, DDR5 RAM. Um, still a couple years off, but you know, seems to offer much uh, improvement in uh, speed and efficiency. That's sort of like the layout, uh, what I just gave is sort of the layout of uh, computers for the next, you know, two to three years, maybe, probably two. But the most immediate ones, the PCIe uh, uh, 4.0 slots, you know, and that determines the speed, like uh, anything that uh, plugs into a PCIe uh, e slot in your motherboard like your graphics card, your M.2 drives, or, um, you know, capture cards and stuff like that, it determines the speed that, uh, that communicates, and it's twice as fast. I need a better position. Let me get into position. Or move to a better position. Target marked. Say the word. Tango down. But I got the, uh, oh, poopy, the, uh, tower coming my way any day now. Um, I think that, what was the cost on it? 194 I think it was. It comes in different models, various, uh, pricing points as far as, uh, color schemes go. Mine's an all black one. I preferred that one. And then the next, uh, um, I can't even get up there. The next uh, purchase will be the uh, power supply, and I'm going with a thousand watt. If I if I did decide to go up to do the AMD, I would uh, up it to about 1200 watt. Um, AMD. The general rule of thumb is you want about twice. You, you do want you want to do uh, you know once you include all your processor wattage and stuff like that, you do you want to do about uh, twice as much. So if your unit if your graphics card and all that uses up about 500 meg, uh, watts, you want to go 1,000 watts. And AMD is uh, the AMD is notoriously power inefficient. Um, they emit so much heat, which is you know wasted energy. Um, so you generally want to you know. Uh, want to include that, factor in that. The drone is up. But 
but still the uh, the motherboard graphics card will be um, Roger that. Move it. Let me get a good sight line. Uh, those will be the last purchases I will go for. Ready. Call the shot. I'm just sort of like Opening technology. Fire. I'm not sure what Intel has around the corner. Uh, they're sort of hush hush on that. That's it. We're clear. Then get up there. In my current PC, I would still use it. Uh, I may upgrade that a little bit. Uh, as far as streaming goes, I'll use that as uh, just um, to keep track of chat and small things on the side. I would like to have a second computer for a uh, uh, just a streaming computer, one gaming, one streaming. But my my main computer, the main, my main design now that I described to you guys here is uh, definitely more focused on um, rendering video and photographs and stuff versus uh, gaming. Uh, you know, still be pretty ridiculously good for gaming. Um, However, um, I'm going to run back up the road here. <clears> that <throat> yeah, is primarily designed for uh, rendering video and uh, phot photographs. Um, for those who uh, do video editing, it takes a long time to... Uh, render a video, especially if you're using programs like After Effects and stuff included instead of just cut and slicing video. It can take up a while, so you know you need a higher processor to cut down the time, and uh, Adobe products definitely do render, uh, on, render better on Intel and NVIDIA products. Um, it really prefers their architecture. And so does gaming. Uh, AMD is still lagging behind on that. In a couple, uh, in a couple ways, I forget what the processor one is. Uh, on the graphics card, definitely as far as uh, ray tracing, which uh, it does your shadows and lighting on games real fast. Uh, Nvidia definitely has some awesome, uh, especially with the 2080 Ti, does it really excellently. And games are just starting to utilize that. You know what, guys? I am going to uh, call for the evening. I'm getting pretty tired here. Um, thanks for joining me again tonight. Uh, I'll be back. I think the weather's supposed to be good tomorrow. Um, just keep an eye on my Twitter feed. Follow me on Twitter. The link's uh, below in the video on my uh, Twitch and included with my YouTube archive. So, um shouldn't have a problem finding me on Twitter. Just follow me on Twitter and... Uh, I update when I'm going to stream, um, but the weather should be alright tomorrow, so it shouldn't be too ridiculously hot for me to stream tomorrow night, um, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, thanks so much for following tonight, and uh, we'll see you soon.